Hey, what's up, everybody? Another uh, note to self. Uh, fucking horrible fucking day. Uh, I don't know. I'm just really fucking pissed off today. I don't know what it is. I wanna. I really wanna punch someone's head in. Um, there's no one to punch though because whatever. But yet there is people. There are people to punch, and I feel angry about it. Um. I have a couple different things that I want to say uh, that I'm going to talk about. Um, first of all, everybody who's dealing with um, loss of jobs, uh, reduction of jobs, temporary loss, whatever it is, and certainly anybody who's dealing with family members who are sick or dead or whatever, um, you know, that's awful. Like, so I really feel terrible for you guys, man, and, and I'm sorry that anybody's going through crazy stuff right now. But, um, you know, one thing I was looking forward to was the movies uh, kind of saving us. And here we are on my Patreon. I want to say thank you to all the patrons and everybody who's going to be re-upping their Patreon this, this month. Um, obviously, it's a big, big thing to keep people on the Patreon right now with uh, what's going on to keep the shows going. Um, because it's a way to know what the income is. So, I thank all the people that had to lower their patrons because of what's going on, uh, but stay, still stayed on the Patreon. That's impressive. Thank you to those people who are still able to be on here. Um, I want to thank, um, you know, uh, some of the new patrons who have come in and, uh, you know, uh, became twenty a couple new $25 patrons, but a good group of $25 patrons had to lower their Patreon, so we've lost a few producer-level people. Um, but luckily we've gained a couple. Um, also shout out to Dab God who became a $10 patron. Um, Toxic Joker and Dean Bigelow. Uh, Toxic Joker and Dean Bigelow both became $25 producers. So thank you guys for that. Anybody who's obviously able to go up to that level at this time, uh, that is very much appreciated. Um, to keep everything going here as we ride the wave. I'm really pissed off about these movies uh, being pushed back. I don't know what it is, but it's I'm infuriated by it um, because you know I kind of know the projection. At least I don't know anything. Okay, let's put it that way. I don't know a damn thing. All I know is in December when I heard about the Corona stuff, um, slightly. You know what I mean? I heard some kind of rumor about stuff. I was like, here we go. Something's a typical, you know, out of China. Somebody fucking ate blood asshole or something and then in january i began buying things in january uh, it was january 9th was the first time that i bought stuff in reaction to what i saw and it was january 12th that i started facebooking that they need to close the borders as soon as possible until they identify what the hell is going on here they didn't close the borders i don't believe uh and uh, they certainly never did. Um, they should have closed the Chinese uh, flights to China should have been closed immediately when our intelligence learned of what happened in December or January or whenever it was. That didn't happen. Um, recently, I told people about, you know, my opinion is that April will be the worst month. I said that a long time ago. April will be the worst month. And it will somewhat continue into May, but then May it will start dropping down. And then it, it we won't maybe be out of the, we won't feel fairly normal again, really, and be back to where we are today. To this day on March 31st, we won't really be back to this point until this, the first or second week of June. And nobody will feel 100% normal until July, or not even in 100%. We won't probably feel 100% normal for years now. But, you know, July will be the time when people are finally able to start looking around and coming out and, and stuff like that. Um, I said this all weeks ago and weeks and weeks ago, and now all the projections are coming out with I agreeing with what I'm saying. Now, there's no way to know what I'm saying is real or whatever. I'm just saying that everything that I speculate on has been falling into place just about exactly as I thought. And uh, it drives me nuts because... Now they've pushed Ghostbusters back until March 2021. So the Ghostbusters movie won't be out until March next year. 
just in time to remember the hell that everybody's going through right now. We can all go to the movie theater next March. But you don't know if this is going to spike up again over that time, so you have no idea. So what's the point? In my opinion, I don't know why the Ghostbusters couldn't have been moved to August. I, th I think August would have been the good time to do it. Um, or just release it digitally, you know what I mean? But of course they'd lose money, so I'm just furious right now. There's no right answer. So we're going to wait till next year to release it. Why? Because, I mean, <sighs> we're going to wait a whole year to see this movie that we would have saw in four months. Um, it's in, in so many other movies, too. I mean, I don't give a fuck about Fast and the Furious 9000, okay? I couldn't give a shit. Um, you know, but this just, all these movies being pushed back, and especially Ghostbusters, you know, Wonder Woman, um, has just really pissed me off, especially when I already, I have a feeling that in July, things will start being allowed to open up, or things will open up again, and certainly by August, things will be, uh, I think in full gear, hopefully, God, please, like, you know. And I feel like I've been pretty much spot on with reading the numbers and following the numbers. And um, I think in April, starting right now, every every American that goes out should be wearing a mask. And, um, you know, anybody that tells you that masks don't work, you know, N95 masks work, uh, especially if you're sick. If you are the sick person or you are the person that could cough or sneeze, there's proof in numbers that, that, that it helps at least 40%. So if there's 100 people sick and 100 of those people will infect someone, 40 of them won't infect someone because of the masks, then you would take those numbers because 40 becomes 4,000 within about a, a week so or less. So a mask helps. So it's ridiculous to not wear masks. Every country that wears masks does better. Because there's literally a 40% chance that they protect you if somebody sneezes, if somebody coughs, if somebody just goes, like, it makes a little whatever and spouts out some fucking little sparkles of water. It's constantly, it's just a fact that it helps. It doesn't fucking work 100%, and it doesn't protect you guaranteed at all. Even, it doesn't even protect you 50%. But the idea that it's about 40% means that it's something that you can do. But they're worried about, there's a big lie in America, they're worried about uh, the, a the average person, um, you know, taking up masks for the medical, because we don't have the supplies. So they don't want the doctors to not have them, so they don't want you to have them, so they don't want you outside. But in a perfect world, we would all be wearing masks, and um, in a perfect world, we'd all be wearing masks, and all of our medical uh, doctors and nurses would have masks, and everybody would have enough masks forever. That's in a perfect world, if you could do it. And that would eliminate what you're seeing. But I believe it's imperative. Uh, nobody wants to wear masks. Nobody wants to go out to the movies in the summer in July and August and be in the movie theater wearing a mask. You know, let's be honest. I know. I don't want to do it either. But in my opinion, until they solve the corona stuff, and especially the first month we're released into the wild, so to speak. So when we finally say, okay, everybody, um, you know, feel free to go out and just resume. We're going to resume life as normal and keep an eye on things. You know, that doesn't mean that you're, that everything's good yet, you know. So people should be wearing masks, but that's not what will happen in America because we're dumb. Uh, same thing in, in Italy, they're, they were dumb. People are dumb. They're like, I'm not wearing the fucking mask. Okay. Fucking, you know what I mean? Probably, um, if you, probably, uh, five to ten to fifteen thousand people will die that wouldn't have died if everybody wore a mask. Five to ten to fifteen thousand people. Think about that, you know what I mean? It's like if, you, if I could tell you that 5,000 people won't die this year because everybody wore a mask, you'd probably take that. You probably would wear a mask because you'd be like, well, anything to save lives at this point, you know, because that could be your grandmother. That could be your friend. That could be someone's baby. Who knows what it is? So anyway, this all just pisses me off because people are just fucking stupid. Donald Trump has been fucking, you know, I, I, has been just so fucking weird over the last couple of weeks being mad at reporters, um, just, and goofy shit, 
Um, I think he's handled the situation pretty good behind the scenes, but on the public, on the platforms, he doesn't do well. He's kind of a fucking asshole piece of shit. Like, but like, that's what he is. That's why people elected him. So I get it. But like right now, it's just a weird time to say that I'm not going to call the governor because, uh, that the, she was an asshole to me. So I'm not going to call her. So all the people in Michigan are fucking terrified or whatever it is. And then he goes, Mike Pence called her. I don't know why he called her. He's a good guy. I don't know why. Well, fuck yourself, you faggot spam. Um, I don't know why Mike Pence calls. And it's like, dude, you're the fucking president. And you're telling the people of, of fucking Michigan that, oh, you know, uh, they're lucky. I call, They're lucky we're still sending them stuff because they were nasty. But uh, Mike talked to them anyway. Like, that's a fucking piece of shit move. And anybody out there, and listen, I've supported Trump in many things. I've had fucking, I've been called a Republican piece of shit. And you know what? I'm actually getting tired of that. If you're out there and you think that I'm some liberal cocksucker, I hope you fucking die. And if you're out there and you think I'm some Republican Donald Trump dick sucker like my wife does, then you can fucking die. Because I've had just about enough of being called one or the other. Because most people are so simple-minded and stupid as fuck that they just lump you into one category because that's how stupid as fuck they are. There couldn't possibly be a category where many things Donald Trump does is great and many things that he does is fucking stupid as fuck. That couldn't possibly exist, could it? No, it's got to be he's great or he sucks. That's got to be the two categories. He's great or he sucks. Those are the two categories we're given or that I'm given. And that's why I got family members and friends and people coming at me from every angle about why I need to hate Trump or why I need to love Trump. I hope everybody goes and fucks themselves and then fucks their family in bed and has incest and then has fucking babies with their fucking family members. All right, dads and mothers fuck their fucking pets in their house. That's how stir crazy people are getting that they have fucking sex and they create the fucking cornhole fucking virus. That's what I hope happens in America. Fucking people at home fucking their pets. Single fat fucks eating nacho cheese stuck in their fucking apartment. Just scarfing down fucking chip after chip while their fucking belly button hair grows longer and longer. Sitting there watching the prices right while masturbating to pics of their ex-girlfriend from high school. Like she, like, like she was coming in the fucking door any second. And they're just whacking off and nasty and crusty and fuck. And then they start getting horny enough and they, they're fucking the fucking cat in the house. The hair starts falling off the cat because it's got some kind of sickness. But you can't go to the pet hospital because you're afraid to go up because of coronavirus. So there you go. You stare at that little pussy hole a couple times and you start thinking, man, you know what I'm telling you? That's starting to look like a woman's pussy to me. Yeah, that's starting to look like a fucking female's cunt. And then you start sniffing the cat a little bit and you're like... <sighs> Mm, the stink of the fucking cat is almost starting to smell like sex to you. And the next thing you know, your fat fucking pork rind asshole is finally getting off the couch and you're staring down your feline like uh, you're having sexual fantasies about fucking fuckery island. And then you finally back on into that fucking cat and you plow the fuck out of that cat. <coughs> fucking JD style deep and down and inside and the cat's looking at you confused angry at you obviously scared but it's afraid to do anything so it just goes with it and you go with it too until you bust up inside that cat and the next thing you know you have some kind of weird animal disease like those wombat eating motherfuckers in China and the next thing you know a few years later corn fucking coronavirus finally disappears and everybody's been out normal again and you decide to try DDP yoga and you do, and you lose weight all of a sudden, and you don't, you're not this fat, slobbery fuck anymore, and you're down at the local bar one night, didn't have a very good day, but you're feeling good about yourself because you lost 200 pounds, you're looking pretty good, you're looking pretty nice, and in walks a group of girls, and oh my god, there they are, the girls from high school, and you recognize them, and one of them, the one that you liked, she got a divorce with her husband recently. And she starts talking to you, and you talk to her about science class and Mr. Anderson's class, where you used to flick little papers at her because you wanted to come in her mouth. And she goes, oh, my God, I never knew it was like that. I always thought you were kind of cute, and you look really good right now. You look better than my husband did before we got divorced. What have you been working out? Yeah, I do yoga. I do this and that. Well, why don't you do some yoga with me? So you go back to your place and you fuck her brains out like a goddamn maniac. And you haven't had sex with a human in two years. But now you're looking so goddamn good that finally 
You're getting some. You pounded in that fucking whore's pussy. And guess what? She goes out to the bar next week and bangs some other guy. And she's banging people all over the place. But what she doesn't realize is a couple of years ago when you plowed your cat, the cat had some kind of weird bacterial disease. And it fucking was mutating in your body the whole time. And now you just put it in her. And then she gives it to another guy and another guy and another guy. And then those guys give it to other people. And fucking cornhole virus is born super AIDS. And then everybody fucking dies. (laughs) Full on China style. Yeah, if I was the president, I would ban all Chinese from coming into the country until they stop eating fucking bats and live animals and cooking fucking dogs. And if you want to call me a racist, go ahead. I call it smart. I call eating fucking live bats fucking stupid. Where's your science there, you liberal fucking idiots? Oh, I love science and how science works and there's no God. All right, cool. Well, if you like science... Tell me what happens when you keep eating fucking wild, randomly caught animals that aren't tested under any conditions. Oh, a bunch of fucking weird bacterial viruses can happen? Oh, that's funny. So that's called science. So what do you do? What's your solution? Go in there and bomb the fucking place? Well, you can't do that because that wouldn't be right to go bomb their country over some things that a certain group of people in their country are doing. The rest of the people aren't doing that. And most of the people in China wouldn't eat that shit. But there's a big core of people that will. So what do you do? And you can't bomb their country because then is that racist? I don't know. Well, at least you can be defensive, right? The defensive move would be to close the borders. But you'll never do that. So everybody just really wants to die, I guess. So there's no fucking answer to any of this shit. There's no right answer. If you block them, you're fucking you're racist. If you let them in, you're, you're ignorant and didn't act fast enough. There is no right answer at this point. So uh, I hope everybody goddamn dies. I guess that's my point. Yeah, but I'm sick of being preached to about what's right or wrong. Donald Trump is a fucking cocksucker for what he said the other day. And if you don't agree with that, you're a fucking idiot yourself. Because he is a fucking cocksucker. Um, he's getting a lot done behind the scenes. I think uh, I think he's doing a good job. But speaking-wise on the podium... He really is just fucking being a fucking dildo fuck at this point. It's like, we get it. The news is fake. The fucking press. Why are they even there? Why even have the fucking press release? Why even allow the press in then? Just fucking ban them. And if you can't ban them, what the fuck is the point? Just fucking pull your dick out live on the fucking broadcast at this point. Pull your fucking dick out. Trump criticized Obama for Ebola because 50 people got it and flipped out on him. Meanwhile, how many people are dead because of this? Is that his fault? I mean, they blamed Obama for it. It's just a bunch of hypocrisy from everybody. All politicians at this point, everybody's full of shit. All right? But I'm sick of being categorized as somebody who either loves this guy or hates him. When I didn't even fucking vote. I stayed home because I don't know what the fuck to tell you. So, anybody out there who fucking sucks, who blindly sucks Trump's dick, can kiss my fucking ball sack. And anybody out there who fucking just hates on Trump at every fucking corner and has been trying to get him impeached since the beginning can fucking lick the cum off my fucking ass after I shoot it backwards around into my fucking goddamn black hole of an ass. All right? I hope you fucking die, motherfuckers. And that's about 70% of the people out there. But fuck it. Anyway, I'm going to be okay. I'm kind of fucking pissed off about this movie shit. We could, Dude, I paid 50 bucks. Release these fucking movies for 50 bucks. Like, I don't know. Guess then they'd be pirated, maybe. I, you know. I'm fucking pissed off, man. I'm sick of fucking this shit. It all could have been fucking somewhat avoided if I was the fucking president. <laughs> like, I think that's what I'm angry about. Where the fuck, why the fuck wasn't this handled right from the beginning? I mean, I can go back and pull up the videos in the podcast where I brought it up. I can go back and pull up my Facebook fucking posts from fucking December and January where I began, we, we talked about like there's something fucked up. This is fucking weird. I can go back to fucking January when I was fucking tweeting the masks I bought and the fucking stock of shit that I was, that I always buy. So 
if I'm the fucking president, I'm shutting the shit down left and right everywhere. The whole fucking country's going down way back when. <sighs> and I don't give a fuck about, you know, people say like, oh, you know, they didn't tell us about this or that, or somebody didn't know about this or that, or, you know, China lied to us. I don't give a fuck. Don't we have intelligence? Don't we have fucking intelligence and spies? Do we not have that anymore? Is that not a thing anymore? I mean, September 11th, we were told about the fucking planes. We were told about the fucking planes by fucking Bill Clinton. The fucking Clintons talked about it. They gave it to fucking Bush. We did it, man. We fucking did it. There's no way we didn't. Or we allowed it. There's no fucking way that that wasn't found out about. Or that people didn't figure it out. Or that they couldn't have done something. It's bullshit. They let it fucking happen. That or we're dumb as fuck and we didn't know. We, that's the other thing. That's the only other answer there is. We're, our country is stupid as fuck. That may be the only other thing. We're dumb. We can't, we can't stop shit. You can't stop anything. We can't stop a fucking plane from flying into the Pentagon. You're telling me we can't stop a plane from flying into the fucking Pentagon? I don't care what anybody says. A plane was allowed to fly into the fucking Pentagon. We have fucking radar on the Pentagon, don't we? Wouldn't anything on a trajectory of close to a hundred fucking... A hundred yards or fucking a thousand yards or fucking a mile? Anything on a trajectory towards the Pentagon? Would that not be seen in the sky? Would we not blow it out of the sky? Do we not have giant missiles to blow it out of the sky? To blow it into smithereens before it comes crashing down into the fucking Pentagon? We let a fucking plane crash into the fucking Pentagon. Yeah, I can understand your excuse for the towers, maybe, in the middle of New York City. The fucking Pentagon? How the fuck does anything hit our Pentagon? That should tell you right there that we either are full of shit and have no protection and no idea how to protect ourselves, no missile defense systems, or we let it happen and are stupid or let it happen on purpose either way we let it happen the first one of the first things i would do with our 1000 trillion million amounts of money for defense that we have would be i want the pentagon washington the world trade centers the banks and everything that's important to our infrastructure of our country military and political system i want all of them to have fucking missile protection. Anyway, um, for the people that are uh, listening on YouTube, um, I hope you guys uh, become patrons. If you haven't become a patron yet, I go on these little rants and talkings on my note to self. I've been doing it for about four or five years, so don't hit me up with bullshit retard comments about uh, whatever the fuck. Um, this is episode, I think, 17 over the course of uh, the last four four years here on Patreon. I think we've had 17 episodes. So this is part one of 17. Everybody else, I'm still here. Stick around. I'm not going anywhere. But for the uh, people on YouTube, uh, this is where the uh, part one will end. Part two will continue. You can hear this in full over on Patreon. Please think about becoming a patron. Patreon.com slash Joe Cronin Show. I'm not usually this fucking angry on these normally. Normally, I'm just kind of talking. But hey, everybody, it's Joe. There's a lot more to listen to in this episode. I made this part one free for everybody so you guys could listen to something. But if you want to hear the whole thing, um, you, you do want to become a patron. Patreon.com slash Joe Cronin Show. Or download Patreon on your phone and um, sign in and then follow me, Joe Cronin Show. There is free content on there, but there's a lot of content. So please become a patron to support my show to keep things going and to hear all of my podcasts in full that are on Patreon. Hear part two of this or hear the full episode on Patreon, guys. Thank you for listening, though. I hope you enjoyed this portion. I tried to give something to you uh, for the people that are bored here. Um, but I hope you come over to Patreon as well, if you can. And I will uh, catch you guys later. Uh, but yeah, there's a whole lot more of this episode. So come on over to Patreon.